Uba Uba Hop Zigzag Hop, here comes my friend Jungle Lot, we must defend Uba Uba, his strategy His call, his philosophy Christmas in Colombia. No snow, no pine trees either. There's no fireplace, is there? Hmm. Oh, Bee! Oh, bah. Bah, oh, bah. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas with the Marsus? That's unique. Yeah, you'll see. Our Christmas campsite will be a sensation. Watch! Aunt Diane, let's test my onion powered generator on these wreaths. Hmm. Hey, no. what's happening? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, guys, go play somewhere else while we decorate the campsite. All right, now we can finish setting up the. Huh? <laughs> Your climates, certainly not in a rainforest. Mm, uh, where did you find this? Yes, it's truly fabulous. They're my new transgenic pine trees. We planted a few in the forest, but they didn't survive more than a few weeks. But when we developed them in greenhouses, we had amazing results. They live 51 weeks a year. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you still have to buy a new one every year. <laughs> Maybe plush satin scarlet with fusion needles is more fashionable this year. Fabulous, Ooh. don't you agree? This is truly thrilling. This time they can't accuse me of not recycling. When people get fed up with their tree, they send it back and we make it into little toothpicks. That was my idea. And here comes another one of my brilliant ideas. <laughs> Surprise for you. Uh, mother! What the? What are you doing here? Your little assistant didn't say anything. No, he didn't say a word. But he will now, before I tie his tongue into a Christmas bow. But it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. And Christmas is a family holiday. So I thought your mama, uh, 
Do me a favor, my dear blueprint. From now on, stop thinking. Skin and bones, as usual, my little Leisha. Mm. But things are going to change now. Mummy's here to make a fantastic Christmas feast for you all. Super! Mm. 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 Hey, Marsu! Not so fast! Oh, Wait for us! Oh, man. Wow, wow! Aunt Diane, this is incredible! Oh, a pine tree plantation in the heart of the jungle? Uh -huh. Who on earth would have such a crazy idea? Hmm, Alicia Devort, I guess. She stops at nothing. These trees are sick. They'll soon die. That doesn't surprise me. It's impossible to grow conifers in a tropical climate. Felicia knows that. These trees are what's left from a failed experiment. Looks like the rest of the plantation was shifted somewhere else. Shifted? Where to? Yes. The trees are stocked in a greenhouse in the heart of my own villa. That way I can keep an eye on them. I can maintain cool temperatures and the ecologists are out of my hair. Hmm. <laughs> Of course they are 100% non-organic guaranteed. Now let's sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has a very shiny nose. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Oh, I promise you, these trees have never been in contact with soil, fresh air, or the slightest red nose. What did I say? Take a bath, take a bath, take a lot me! Mother, I'm trying to do a deal here! Hey, forgive me, darling. Christmas makes me feel so happy! How long does Christmas last? Let me call you back. There, the decorating is done, and now it's time for me to start cooking you all a wonderful dinner. You can invite all your friends over. Uh, my little Leisha, you do have friends, don't you? The pine tree plantation is drying out the rainforest. Oh, that ferocious Felicia woman must have diverted the leaky soupy to irrigate her plantation. Hector, that woman is a danger to Colombia. A pine plantation in a tropical climate will produce nothing short of an ecological catastrophe. Why such a big table? Don't tell me you plan on dining alone with Stroy and Blueprint for Christmas. Why not? In fact, I could do without them, to be honest. And without my mother, even better. What did you say, darling? Nothing, nothing. In fact, where are Stroy and Blueprint? I sent them into the jungle with a little errand. What? We have to do something, Aunt Diane. We can't let Felicia desiccate the jungle with her genetically modified pine trees. <gasps> Are you intelligent people? We need you! Aww. Peace talk! Peace talk! No fun! Wait, Marsu, that's a white flag! That means they want to talk, <laughs> not fight! They came as friends! <laughs> You didn't do that, Mother! Who did you invite? Hector, Diane, and the Marsupial Armies are very nice people, real <sighs> friends. You'll see, you'll get along just fine. Now it's time for cooking! Come on and help me, darling! I hate them! Abhor them! Despise them! Why not a Christmas truce? In any case, it's too late. Stroy and Blueprint are on their way. Darling, one cannot back out of an invitation. After all, it's Christmas! Oh, I definitely hate Christmas. Season <laughs> greetings. Felicia DeVord invites you to share in her Christmas dinner. 
An invitation oh. to Felicia's for Christmas? Felicia oh. the Wart and Ursula Easycook. Mm -hmm. And Ursula Easycook. <laughs> Mrs. Easycook says it's a Christmas truce. And uh, <laughs> she's doing the cooking. <laughs> Be gentle, darling. It's fragile. But put it in carefully. Yes, Mum. Now, now, Leisha, please remove your frail little fist from that cake, and we'll start again. Mm. Easy does it. Oh, that flower-crazy dingbat and her runt of a nephew, here, poking their noses in my business. Here, in my own home, in my own property. Worse, they'll have those disgusting yellow-furred flea bags in tow. It's Christmas, darling. This is a truce. Try and look on the bright side. Mm. The bright side? <laughs> Heck, Dirty, I can't help thinking we should never have come with these two thugs. It may turn out they haven't the best of intentions. But of course it's okay, Aunt Diane. And this way we can see where Felicia is hiding her tree plantation. Let's just be sociable and act normal. Come inside quickly. You have an hour to set it up for me. A little Christmas surprise for the Marsu family. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. We're both happy, aren't we, Leisha? Terribly. Let's drink to the Christmas truce. Hmm. Yes, like we say, to the Christmas truce. Mm, to the Christmas truce. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, rainforest-style lobster on a bed of tropical oh. chives. Oh. Ursula, our tummies are going to burst. Huh. Oh. If only that could really happen. <laughs> it's shameful. You're destroying the rainforest with your transgenic pine trees. Weren't you taught that children are meant to be seen and not heard at the table? <gasps> Hector is right. Those pine trees are going to provoke an ecological disaster. Hmm. I'd love some more stuffing. Stop eating your fat enough. Ow! I'm fed up! I'm putting an end to this truce! Uh, before or after dessert? It's ready. <laughs> And now, Diane's very favorite dish. Ursula, you are an angel. <sighs> After the next course, we'll suggest we go for a walk to stretch out our legs and digest the meal. That'll give me the chance to find out where the new plantation is. Oh, me! Oh, wow! <laughs> After the next course, we'll suggest they visit the villa to stretch their legs and digest the meal. That will give us a chance to lock up those creatures. Ah, I can't eat another bite. This is a royal feast, Ursula. Mm. But now I think I ought to stretch out my legs. Excellent idea. Why don't we all take a tour around the Devort Villa? I believe that this is your first visit mm, as a friends. Darling, what a good idea. I believe my little dishes have brought out the Christmas spirit in you after all. Go on, have a lovely walk together, all of you. Hector, you'll see this place is full of surprises. And Leisha, darling, I'm counting on you to be back in time for dessert. Come into the kitchen with me, dearest Diane. I have a few little cooking tips to share with you. Wouldn't it be nice if your little friends came with us? I'm sure they'd have a good time. Marsus! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 
As you know by now, Devort Incorporated has been created to devastate, uh, I mean, develop the Palombian forest. Devort Incorporated uses the most advanced technologies available. He managed to get lost in the meanderings of my marvelous mansion. Now's the moment. Blueprint, Stroy, round up those filthy, furry, spotted things. Phase two, we capture those creatures. Does that mean we'll be late for Christmas cake? Breath of hot air and goodbye, transgenic tree. After you, my dear. <laughs> and that's it. They're all mine. At last. Amazing. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I love Christmas. Long live Christmas. Yippee. Oh, 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 I'm lost again. All these corridors look the same to me. Jingle cage, jingle cage, big black jingle cage. Keep those muscles locked up tight out of the board side. Hey! Ah, oh, so there you are. Where are the marsus? Oh, they left. They just left. You know what animals are like. They do whatever they feel like. Come on, let's go. But the marsus wouldn't leave without me or Aunt Diane. And they sure wouldn't leave without eating Christmas cake. Speaking of which, isn't it time for the dessert? Really? Don't worry about your animal friends. They don't know what they're missing. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Why, children, that's marvelous. That's the true Christmas spirit. Leisha, darling, I'm proud of you. Where's Aunt Diane? Shh. 
hungry and they left. Daya and Hector, don't worry. We'll prepare a doggy bag for them. End of conversation. Merry Christmas. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. <laughs> the Marsus weren't hungry. That is unbelievable. I know. And I have to tell you about what I found. Oh, bah! Oh, baby! Oh, bah! There's something I'd like to say. Wonderful, darling. I am delighted we've had this marvelous dinner together. And first of all, I want to thank my dear mother. Yippee! And our precious guests who have come here tonight. <laughs> Long live the Christmas tradition. <laughs> What in the... Ah! Marsu! Mrs. Marsu, kids, you're back! Marsu! Oh, <laughs> oh, <wee! laughs> ah, they escaped, end of truce! Ah! Grab them, peel them, make black and yellow tinsel out of them, now! <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, I get it. A Colombian tradition. I'm a bit rusty, but wait and see. Ah. Yippee! Merry Christmas! Yippee! Everyone into the elevator! That was the best Christmas log I ever tasted. Bravo, Ursula! Thanks, Ursula! And see you soon! That was great! Troy, Blueprint, go after them now! Mission accomplished, Aunt Diane. I guess that's the fate of all Christmas trees. Pretty sad, if you ask me. Good work, Hector. And Ursula certainly made us a feast. Hmm? Obi! I think someone's having fun with our gifts. <laughs> that's for you, little Hector. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Aunt Diane. Look, I have presents for you, too. Merry Christmas, chumps! Get to work! Okay, first lady! Uba, uba, hop! Ba-la-ma-la-ma! 